Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel K. You might know me from my Instagram at Mrs. Rachel Krauss. And today I am doing a haul closet reorganization. We are going to be decluttering everything, cleaning everything out, organizing it again. And I will be doing this pretty much using like the KonMari method, if you will, with my own little spin on it. So I can't wait to show you guys all of my organization tips and tricks. If you like these kinds of videos, go ahead and smash that like button below. Subscribe, turn on your bell notifications so that you never miss another time that I post. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on my channel. And comment down below what your favorite part of your home is to organize. Let's get started. Very first thing I wanna mention is that if you hear the washer and dryer going, that's because it is right behind these doors. And I have limited time to get this done and my hall closet is right here. So I'm very sorry for the noise, but we've gotta just keep going with this because as a mama, I don't get very many opportunities to work by myself. Can you see our clothes drying rack back here? Ignore it, that is all gonna be in a major clean with me coming up, but I wanna get this hall closet organized first. So here's what we're looking at. Like I've said with most other places in my home, if you've been following my organizing saga, it's like a mess, but it's organized chaos. I know where things are, but they're just starting to kind of become cluttered a little bit. Maybe some things in here that we don't use very much. So I'm going to be taking every single thing out and we are going to be putting it back in all nice and neat, going through everything, making sure we need it. And I also bought some organizers for this space as well, which will be linked below. We are completely cleaned out here. As you can see, the only things that I've left is this top shelf and I know exactly what's up there because I never go up there. And that is our toilet paper. And this is like my hair basket. So like if I decide to lighten my hair at home or tone it, anything like that, that is what's up there in that one. I'm not gonna mess with that kind of stuff. We have plenty, plenty to do right here. My plan of attack is very similar to what I did in my pantry organization, which which is I made three piles. One was either like a donation pile or give it to a friend pile. The second pile was throw it away, get rid of it completely. It's either not in good condition or I don't need it anymore. And the third pile is what we're keeping. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now. towels that you guys are seeing me get refold right here. I just want them to lay super nicely in the, uh, in the pan, not the cabinet or the pantry, in the hall closet. But these are the bath sheets from Costco. We have them in the gray color. I haven't been able to find the gray color for a while, but they have a couple of other colors. Bath sheets and they're the brand Charisma. They're so good. Also, I feel like you guys don't know this about me, but I am actually pretty into oils. This is my oil collection. We've run through a few of them. I haven't restocked in a long time. If you have a bunch of oils and you need somewhere to put them, I love storing them in this in my hall closet. It zips up and it has like a carrying hook. You can carry it. Carry it. Yeah, I will link this down below. I think I got it on Amazon.
actually going to be repurposing some of the bins that I have found around my house. So like these, these are a bunch of breast pads in here for like when you're leaking, when you're first breastfeeding. I don't need these anymore, but we are trying for baby number two. So I will be needing them in the future. And then I also found, I have these three around my house. I got them at Target. And we're gonna also be separating out some stuff in here. I feel like I'm getting overwhelmed with how much stuff is in the hallway right now. There are some things that I know I'm keeping for sure, like towels. I sorted out my hand towels of what I'm keeping, my hats, things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting those things back in so that I can have more of a clear space to work. I know Kon Mari is like, you're just supposed to take everything out at once, do everything at once, but sometimes you gotta divvy it up just a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. By no means is this set where it needs to be. So the gray towels will stay there and these towels off to the side will stay there. Those are like our beach towels. We have a junk towel and then we have a few of his like, um, his Iron Man towels that basically they covered him with when he finished the Iron Man, which are really special. We're not getting rid of those. But in the middle, I have our dish towels. Maybe I just need to go through them again and get rid of some more, but I just need to wait until I find out how I want to put things down here before I can really put those in like a, like a designated spot. You also saw my method before of having these big drawers in there. I totally think these are the best idea I've ever come up with. So I'm gonna put those back in. One of them does not need to be cleaned out. It's just this one, which is all my hair products. And I will show you what's in there when I get it in there. The other one needs to be cleaned out though. Here is what is in my hair bin. I have my blow dryer concentrator back there. I have a backup straightener. We have a curling iron. This was actually my mom's curling iron. I don't know, I feel like I can't get rid of that. And then I have another curling iron, just a different size back here. And that's it, that's all that's in here. I just wanted to contain the cords and not have to see them all the time because those are not things that I use all the time. This one on the other hand is just a ton of dog stuff in here. We've got dog sweaters, their harnesses, things like that, but some things we haven't reached for in years. So I need to go through this. And if it's not something that we use or need to keep on hand, it is going in the trash. Here is the doggy one. We have sweaters, their leashes and collars and what are they called, harnesses. And then their combs right down here because these are the things that I reach for the most. Perfect. This little basket right here, I'm actually going to be putting on top of these drawers. It's similar to what I had there before. And I will tell you what I made this basket out of. So when I gave birth at the hospital to Logan, I knew for sure that we wanted more babies, like literally from the second that I pushed him out. And my nurses were awesome. They were very sweet, but they were also quite stingy. I think it must've been like the hospital policy or something. So I felt like I had to ration a lot of the things that I was getting. So whatever I have left over from this last time, I made sure sure to put it in a basket and that way I would have it for next time and just have some extras on hand. I of course will need to go out and buy some more stuff before my next postpartum round but these are things that like didn't really expire and I figured you know what I'll just keep them for next time. So I put them in a little basket here and I'll show you what I have in there. I have two of the perineal ice packs right here. We have a belly binder. We've got these like breast pads. They are warming. I will try and link these below and then I have the Freedom Mom um, I have some medications in here that if they expire beforehand, I will get rid of them. But you guys, if you are giving birth anytime soon, this right here, the Wish Garden Afteries, of course, ask your doctor. This 
was so awesome for your after cramps. It doesn't stop them, but it like almost like numbs it so you don't feel them. Some tux cooling pads, if you know, you know. We have some postpartum underwear right here that you would put like a pad into, and then some breast cooling pads. And this is going to go right up here. Just gotta squeeze those in, perfect. Medication box, we've seriously downsized it. This is what it looks like. That gripe water will probably just sit on top of it. That's what it looks like. Easy peasy, mostly natural stuff in there. I typically keep our medications to the left. There we go. Now that is super easy to take in and out. Looks great. You guys know I don't really wear makeup anymore, but every once in a while we do like a little photo shoot or something and I need some makeup to get ready. So I just keep this little bin right here. I have like some concealers and lip glosses and stuff. I'm not really gonna go through that because I did it once before and just kept everything I just needed to have on hand if we did a photo shoot. So I'm just gonna put it in there just like this. And I think I'm going to throw it in right behind these blue bins, which is where I had it before. And that's fine with me because again, this is something I use so sparingly like once a year twice a year it can sit back there and be unseen that's fine I know where it is we are getting down to the nitty-gritty I'm so excited um these are just my breast pads just gonna put them again right behind my little blue bin that I have right here that's like the postpartum care because as soon as I pull this out next time I'm gonna see those breast pads behind it and I'm gonna know I need those we have some toilet paper down here I can definitely be thrown up into the top. We have some tampons that need to go back in there. These are the puppy clippers. We shaved them down and cut them ourselves. Derek actually has been taking over this and it's been so amazing. He's done really, really well. This belongs in the bathroom, so I'm gonna throw that in there. We have this that just needs to go in like our um, first aid box. It's just to like help tie some gauze around if you needed to. Then we have some sunglasses. And Logan Bear's down there playing. He's making noise. You guys can hear him. This is our last green bin that is going in there. We just have some medications for Cole and Kennedy. We really don't use them anymore, but just in case, Cole had hip reconstruction surgery. He now and then has some pain that comes along with it. So makeup brush washing pad, you just put it in the bottom of your sink. I'll try and link that below as well. It's really cool if you have a lot of makeup brushes and need to clean them all the time. And then I have my makeup brushes right here so that if I ever get back into makeup, which probably will happen when I have more time years down the road, I don't have to go out and buy all my brushes again. I like to also keep our hats up here. So I have just our pile of hats. We have some winter ones here too, and like some winter ear covers right here. I've really pared it down. I just keep our hats in like a pile back here. And then I like to keep my essential oils right here so that they are an easy open and go just whenever I need them. It looks like that. I can't believe it. I'm down to two things to put in here. This is also where we keep our wipes, but we have been lazy and didn't take them out of the box. I prefer for them to be out of the box so that they're easy to grab. And the very last thing, these clippers. This is just what I cut Derek's hair with, which we are doing later today. Let me show you what the end closet result looks like. I know you guys have been waiting for this. Oh shoot, I forgot one thing, hang on. This is my nail kit. I go through this every so often, so I don't need to declutter anything in here, but I just keep it in this bin and we'll throw it right there. I do my own gel nails at home, so that's what I use. Let me show you guys the end result. much nicer right guys so let me show you what I have we've got our hair bin up there for lightening our hair toning our hair anything like that some toilet paper we have our regular bath sheets right here and you have our washcloths go up there 
some hand towels for the kitchen downstairs. We have like his memorial memoriam towels up there of his accomplishments, which are so cool. Love those towels. We'll keep them forever. And then we have like a scrap towel for anything dirty that we might need to do. And then we have some beach towels right here. I keep my extra eyebrow pencils right here. I'll link those below as well. They're $2 and I love them. We have my postpartum box. We have just some miscellaneous things right here, like the makeup brush cleaning pad, some doggy medication. And then back there we have the makeup box. We have the nursing pads, makeup brushes, some tampons, some Vaseline just in case, some gripe water back there. And then this is our medication and first aid box right here. I've got everything that fits into these perfect little teal bins, which if I can find them, I will. In this one, we have my hair tools. This one, we have all the doggy stuff, brushes, their sweaters and their harnesses. We have our baby wipes right here, nail kit, all of my hats, our winter hats right in there, some sunglasses, Derek's hats. Then we have the dog clippers, um, human clippers, and then this is my essential oils right here. And that is it, you guys. Holy cow, it looks so much better. This is such an, a little awkward space to film in. So I hope I got enough angles for you guys to where you were able to see how big this space is. It's really not terribly huge, but I am able to fit a lot in it. And let me show you the bag that we're getting rid of. Here is the big trash bag that we're getting rid of. It is heavy. I can't believe all this stuff also fit up into here. That's why it was so crowded. So I'm so excited to get rid of that. And that is it for me today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe, turn on your bell notifications so that you never miss another time that I post. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday on my channel. Make sure you go down in the comments and tell me what your favorite part of your house to organize is. I will see you guys next time. Bye.